The recent NASA launches from the Northern Territory were a historic moment for Australia and saw us return to being a space launching nation. There was incredible excitement uh, around this launch, not just on site, but around the nation. The energy Australia had to know it was starting to launch things into space again was just exhilarating. It was a really important moment to show Australia is open for launch. We have a regulatory framework that's been fully activated. This was the first time NASA had launched commercial rockets uh, from a commercial spaceport outside the United States. The Australian Space Agency played a critical role in achieving this launch campaign. We worked very closely with Equatorial Launch Australia, the operator of the site, as well as NASA to ensure they had the necessary regulatory approvals, environmental approvals and, and safety approvals to conduct a safe and productive launch campaign. The reaction afterwards, uh, for me, was very heartwarming to hear the younger people who uh, are among the world's oldest astronomers realise that they had contributed to launching a rocket to space from their land. It was really a sign that they could do anything. Launch is the only thing that can open up the full value chain of activities. By having launch in Australia, we'll have an opportunity to work on interplanetary missions, uh, be able to launch satellites when we need uh, as a nation, but also demonstrate a lot of economic return. Here in Australia, uh, we're proud to have a heritage in space, but really, you know, if you look at the technologies you use every day, we're kind of exposed. We use a lot of technology from overseas partners. We're at a moment in time, we need to contribute uh, that data, that technology. Access to space is one of the priority areas in our civil space strategy. In Australia, we have significant challenges around climate change, uh, disaster resiliency. Space technologies are pivotal in our fight so by having the ability to launch rockets here in Australian space, we can launch the payloads we need that can look at our particular needs. By attracting launch, we attract inbound investment. We develop regionally. And if you look around the world, space sports are often a hub of economic activity. Australia is viewed very desirably as a launch sector. And we know that because of the incredible amount of inbound interest to develop space sports and consider Australia as an alternative place to launch rockets as ranges around the world start to get you know, fully booked up. Our local Space Launch and Returns Act is, is fully activated, so we can license a spaceport and we can permit our rockets that go into space. It's demonstrated we have the systems, the processes, uh, the way to work with the traditional custodians in order to do these activities. What we offer the international community obviously is our geography. We, have, uh, we can access various orbits. We have long, um, you know, long coastlines, unpopulated areas. We have an incredible talent base, we have a responsible regulatory framework, and we can also be trusted. We're an alliance in, in many partnerships, and this means we can be trusted to look after sensitive technologies like rocket technology. We're fortunate to have some innovative companies here in Australia that are really going after this launch opportunity. Uh, in South Australia, we have Southern Launch, who are developing the orbital launch complex at Whalers Way. Going to the north of our nation, uh, we have uh, Equatorial Launch Australia, who run the Arnhem Space Centre. Go out to Queensland, we have Gilmore Space Technologies, and Gilmore is a sovereign rocket development company that's developing an Australian rocket that will, intends to launch vehicles and people eventually, they say, to all kinds of orbits. Also in Queensland, we have Black Sky Aerospace, who in 2022 were recognised as the Space Launch Business of the Year. They have been producing rocket fuel right here in Australia and operate a three million acre private launch range in outback Queensland. Around the nation, we're seeing a proliferation of proposals and considerations around space balls. In order for Australian technologies to be incorporated into international supply chains, you need what's called space heritage, getting them time in the vacuum, the harsh environment of space. And by launching rockets and more ways frequently into space, we can really accelerate that technology development path for Australian companies and Australian payloads. So adjacent industries will contribute to space, but will also benefit from space. In our resources sector, we lead the world in remote operations. You know, we run a quarter of the Pilbara region from Perth, operating trains and, and dump trucks and drilling things autonomously with humans. Similarly, for many years, we've looked after our teams down in Antarctica. Remote medicine in Antarctica is how you do remote medicine in space. I think it's incredibly exciting to think of a launch capable Australia in the future, a nation that has returned to its roots as a space launch nation. Not only will we be able to launch rockets, we'll be able to build them, 
we'll be able to set satellites and payloads and who knows, maybe people into space one day from Australia in order to do important things that enabled us to look after our planet, look after our people and also partner with regional uh, neighbours. Once we have that capability, we can look further. We can look at missions to the moon uh, and beyond, which can build on some of our great strengths in, in planetary science, uh, but also inspiring uh, the nation on what it can do. Thank you.